My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Got a really nice 69 Chevy Nova. It's got a performance built Big block motor, performance built automatic, 411 Posi. It's been ground up restored. I've got a bunch of paperwork here and a few photos of the car. Gentleman I bought it from has owned it since 1998. He spent 10 years restoring the car. He did it with him and his buddies. Uh, he says he's very meticulous. I just talked with him on the phone for 15 minutes and he just kept stressing how he liked to take his time and make things right. Since it's been done, so it was done, that would be 2008, it was finished, he's only put 2,000 miles on it. He took it to car shows, drove it to local car shows, uh, and that's what he really uh, got pleasure out of doing. He says not once did it give him a lick of trouble when he was driving it, and again, he referred back to taking his time and making sure things were done right. Uh, so you can go to volocars.com, and that's where you can read all the specs, study pictures top to bottom, and that's where you find the price tags on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. So I have a picture of the car. He bought it as a rolling shell. It was a body, no motor, no trans, no interior, no trim. It was a body on a chassis. And that's what he started with. And like I said, 10 years to restore it. Uh, underneath, the floors are rock solid. The inner quarters are rock solid. They did put a new trunk pan in. They did a really nice job of that. Uh, so it's solid under there. He says everything was rebuilt, the front end, uh, you know, suspension, bushing, shocks, all that's redone. Uh, in back, he did relocate the shock position and it has traction bars because he wanted to put a wider tire in there. Uh, brakes were redone, has disc in front. <clears throat> it's got a fat custom exhaust system with stainless steel mufflers. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's nice and clean. Uh, it's got a turbo 400 automatic with a 3500 stall. Uh, it's been rollerized. Uh, it has an electric kick down. And uh, drive shaft is rebuilt, balanced. It's got a 12 volt rear end in the back with 411 gears. So this thing should really kick it in the butt when you take off. And it's got an aluminum finned uh, cover on the back of the rear end. Uh, so underneath the car is all proper, it all looks good, uh, ready to rock and roll. The body is really nice. Now this paint job is at least 20 years old and it looks like it was just done. Uh, we'll go around and inspect it right now, but it is slick, it's smooth, and I don't know if you can notice, but there are some ghost flames that kind of flip-flop color uh, that really look good on the car. It was done by someone, I bought this out in the state of Washington, and Whoever did the flames is someone that was very well known in that area. But the hood fits nice and square and flush. Everything here lines up real nicely. It's all smooth, no bubbles. The roof is absolutely straight. No, no problems on the pillars. This is all real nice. And talking about smooth, what do we got here? We don't have door handles. Uh, so again, all this is square. I mean, this body is actually really exceptional now that I'm looking at it. Uh, paint's a little bumpy right here. Yeah, a little texture on the paint right there, but this fits nice and square. This corner's smooth. Yeah, this is all real nice. No issues down low or up high for that matter. Yeah, that's, that's a really, really nice body. Repainted uh, PPG paint. We have extra paint. I have the paint codes as well. It's like a coral salmon color. And again, smooth and slick to the touch. The ghost flames, of course, you do not feel them. 
So he replaced the glass. There was no glass in the car. The windshield is new. Pretty sure it's all new glass. Yeah, it looks like it's new glass. It has a light tint. All the trim, stainless trim was replaced. The wipers are hooked up. They're in the trunk. He just liked the clean look. The SS hood with the grills are new. The trim, the moldings, the bumper, the lenses, all of this up front's been replaced in its excellent shape. New marker lights says 396. Look at the wheels. They're rally wheels. They're chrome plated. It's got the derby caps in the middle. The BF Goodrich tires with a lot of tread on them. New antenna, mirrors. So he only drove it to car shows, so he wasn't worried about it. This is how you open the door. You reach in the vent window and you pull the door handle to open it. This trim around the frames here, it's the nicest I've ever seen on a Nova. I don't know if this is chrome plated. It's supposed to be like an anodized trim. Usually they're dull and scratchy, but they are like chrome. Emblems, tail lights, bumper, SS panel, all of this is in really nice shape. So solid trunk compartment, neatly spatter painted with the gray spatter paint. Has a fuel cell. There's a box right here. This is a vacuum pump because of the performance cam that's in the motor. It doesn't create as much vacuum as you need for power brakes and that. So there's an electric vacuum pump. Uh, there's a couple boxes with some spare parts, including the paint I talked about. There's a car cover. Getting back to the doors, uh, they have the electric popper kit. So if you were worried about leaving the vent window unlocked, you can go to any like stereo shop and put in the remote poppers. <clears throat> the motor is a 402 big block, been rebuilt, it's got a performance cam like I was just saying, Edelbrock intake, dual feed holly with an electric choke, uh, an MSD ignition system, long tube coated headers, chrome alternator. Uh, it's got a vacuum canister, uh, an extra reserve. Uh, radiator's got a motor fan. It also has an electric pusher fan. It has a shroud, it has the overflow bottle. The jams are painted real slick. The seats are high back bucket seats and all the upholstery is done to match. The door panel, see the cloth insert? And this one's loose on the bottom. It looks like you didn't want to put any screws in it. We'll have to think of some clips or two-way tape or something there. But the seats and door panels are all professionally, or they look like they're professionally done, uh, to match is what I'm getting at. It's got racing belts in the front, carpets replaced, Headliner's replaced and it's tight as a drum. Uh, the dash pad is new. There's a big monster tack on the dash, but it looks like he put a bracket with sticky tape, didn't want to cut holes in it. The factory tachometer's in the dash. That's rare on Innova to see that, and it works. It's got a tilt column with a deluxe wheel. Full set of custom gauges under the dash, and it has the Hearst, or maybe it's a B&M ratchet shifter, and a, a custom console. Got power steering, power brakes, got a nice filler panel across the firewall, you got hood insulation, all the finishes, uh, all the metal finishes are smooth, you know, painted nicely. So that's a good looking motor compartment. He said in his area, this car was very well known. Optima battery, we have a transmission cooler up front here. It's actually a really nice car. I'm telling you, the body and paint on this doesn't get much nicer. And this uh, chrome and trim, the way it sparkles, is really impressive. That's really nice. Nicest I've ever seen on a Nova. And the car, sh the door shut nice, got a nice stance. Uh, real cool car. And it'll come with that folder full of receipts that I was talking about. Kind of helps tell you what you've got. There's like a card in there for a cam. I did notice a little uh, texture in the paint right here. And there's a factory seam right here, but it's just minor. <clears throat>
So there you have it. Go to volocars.com. Uh, plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have questions or concerns, please ask. They'll help the best they can. We can get this delivered to your driveway. We can help you with financing. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks.